let's make a different kind of pesto. Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I make this delicious pesto. But first, if you are new here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. Let's start by toasting these pine nuts. The toasting process is going to help them to enhance the flavor and also improve their texture so they are softer when you're going to make the pesto. And now that my pine nuts are ready, I am going to take out my food processor and I am going to add the washed dandelion leaves, parmesan, garlic, the aromatic toasted pine nuts and a little bit of sea salt. Now I am going to start my food processor and I am going to give them just few pulses and then I am going to start adding little by little a delicious extra virgin olive oil so this pesto can start forming. I always like to have a little jar with homemade pesto because it always saves me and it helps me to make delicious dishes. Please let me know in the comments of this video on how do you like to use your pesto. I will continue blending for about one or two minutes until a soft paste is formed. And here it is, a dandelion pesto is ready. Please check in the link above for what are the nutritional benefits of making this recipe. Also, I will leave you a link in the description of this video. And if you don't have access to dandelion, you can always use this recipe to make the traditional basil pesto or you can make a mix of your favorite herbs. This delicious bruschetta is ready. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and if you are new here on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button. And see you next time. Bye bye.